Sahana here and welcome back to another video. And I'm going to start today's video off by saying Happy Father's Day and thank you for giving me all these views on my How to Make a Tent video. Up till now, it's like 16,000 views. Anyways, today we are going to be making three easy desserts that even kids can make, which means we are not going to be using any knives or a soap, which means it's safe for kids. So, the first recipe is chocolate mousse. Here are all the ingredients. First we have is stevia. It's a type of powdered sugar. Here we have vanilla essence for flavoring. Here we have silver balls for toppings. I didn't have any chocolate chips so that's what we found. Here we have cocoa powder and thick cream. First step is I'm going to be pouring this thick cream here into this glass. All of this cream here is 250 ml of cream, thick cream. Now we are going to be adding in the sugar. You can use any type of sugar you want, but you have to make sure it's going to be powdered sugar. And now I'm going to be mixing this and you can add as much as sugar you want as per your taste. Now I'm going to be adding half a teaspoon of cocoa powder. You can do it as per your taste, add more if you want. Hold this gently. Until all the thick cream turns into this light brown color. Now you're going to need to put a few drops of vanilla essence and very few. This part is also optional. You can do it if you want. The vanilla essence is smelling amazing. It smells like really tasty. Now I am putting this mixture into the serving bowl. Now I am going to be shaking this so it will be flat. And I have tasted this and it, the sugar is just perfect. Now I am going to be drizzling the cocoa powder onto this. Now I'm going to be adding these silver balls as a topping. It's also optional, so you can do it if you would like. Now the chocolate mousse is done and I'm going to cover it with silver foil so then I can keep it in the fridge. You'll have to at least keep it for one or two hours before it's ready. recipe is the biscuit ice cream cake. Here are all the ingredients. You can use any biscuits. I'm using here is an orange cream biscuit and here is the bourbon biscuit. It's a chocolate biscuit. Next we will need is ice cream. We're using vanilla and next for the topping is Nutella. First thing we need is a Ziploc bag. So then we can put these orange cream biscuits in them and then uh, beat it so you can grind it with this rolling pin. Now I'm going to be using another Ziploc bag so I can grind the bourbon biscuit. Now we have 
almost fine powder. See? Yeah. Now I'm going to press this down, just flatten it. Now I'm going to be pouring in the ice cream. You can put as much as you would like. Now we are going to just flatten it out so it will be nice and leveled. So guys, now I'm going to be preparing the Nutella dessert. Since Nutella is really thick and won't make a good drizzling shape, I'm going to add a little bit of milk. this type of a design this one is the orange biscuit I'm going to be adding cubes of orange now it's almost done we just need to put it in the freezer before that we need to cover it with foil The third recipe is falda. These are the ingredients you are going to be needing. First is sabza. You have to keep it in water for at least 30 minutes. Next ingredient is milk. I've added sugar to it to make it a little sweeter and ensure it is cold milk. Here we have rose syrup. Here we have is jelly. You can make it at home. It's really easy to make. And you can also find it ready made at the store. Now we are using vanilla ice cream. Here we have awesome nuts. And I have not chopped this at all. I just found it ready made at the store. Because I actually promised you guys in the beginning of the video that I will not do any shopping. If you don't have any chopped nuts or you can't find them in the stores then you can just grind them now my other topping choice is blueberries and a huge strawberry and where we're going to be making the falooda is this huge mug now I'm being going to add the rose syrup now I am adding the sabza into the smug. I am adding the jelly now. Now I am going to be pouring a little milk. I am adding a few scoops of ice cream. Now I am going to be adding uh, chopped nuts. Again putting a layer of sabza. Chili on top again. Now we are adding the milk. I'm adding more nuts. Now we're adding more ice cream.
Now I'm adding blueberries and a strawberry. The blueberries are actually kind of sinking in right now. So guys, we are done with all the recipes and now we are going to be unveiling all the end results of the recipes that we've done today. Starting with the chocolate mousse. Describe every last bit of how all the recipes taste. First one is chocolate mousse. Let's just cut into it. It tastes really good. It tastes like um, chocolate, but a little bit lighter because of the cream. It is really delicious. It includes very few items and you guys must try it. Next is the biscuit ice cream cake. First we are going to be trying the orange flavored one. As you can see we have an orange biscuit so it can actually look cool and we have orange chunks. It's really good. We have added a little bit less biscuit, but you can see the layer here. You can add more biscuit if you want and do it in a bigger bowl if you want. Now we're going to be doing the chocolate one. As you can see here, you put a chocolate biscuit on top. Per one. Now we put a um, little bit more than the orange one, the biscuit. As you can see, the layer is a little bit thicker here. This is a must try. It's so delicious. Even with plain vanilla ice cream, the biscuit's flavor makes it so that you're, it feels like you're actually eating a different flavored ice cream, but with crunchiness. The crunchiness, it's so satisfying. The last dessert is the Faluda. Look at this. I just don't want to eat it. I, I'm afraid I'll ruin it. I just want to keep it as a decoration. Just look at the layers. Look at the drippiness. But I still have to eat it and then describe how it tastes. Here, you have to just dig down deep enough so you can get just enough and every thing right. This is also a must try. It's really delicious. Because of all the flavors that start bursting in your mouth, it feels so satisfying to just have it in your mouth. And it's also really nutritious because of all the nuts we are adding, the berries, the fruits, the milk, the sabza. There's this, so many things good about this that I can't explain myself. So that's why you also need to try this. You can either eat it just directly after you made it or you can freeze it for a little while so all the ingredients or some of the ingredients can just freeze together you can use any toppings you would like any fruits any berries or any nuts i use what i had in my house and you can also do the same too so guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed and if you did please like subscribe and share my videos and I'm also on Instagram, so please do check that out, Sahana Vlogs. And if you've made your own desserts, I would love to see them. So please do send it.